Hello guys, uh, how are you? Uh, this is Moise. So, as you have uh, known from the title that this video is about how we can link the Fortran compiler with the Abacus in 2025. The issue is that uh, that the previous version uh, that Intel releases of the Fortran compiler was iFort Classic. But as of 2025, the Intel releases the updated version of the Fortran compiler that is IFX compiler. And the problem that uh, you guys are facing is because of the reason that Abacus is not compatible with the new updated version of the Fortran compiler. And there is only the simple reason that why we are facing these issues. So talking about me, I have uh, spent over one month uh, sorting out this issue and uh, in troubleshooting this issue. So finally, uh, I have come to the solution and I was able to successfully uh, link my Fortran compiler with Abacus. So here is the solution that I am going to give to you. All the YouTube uh, videos that you guys have uh, seen uh, and you guys are still unable to link your Fortran is because all those videos are very old. Some are four years old, some are a year old. And even if there are some videos that are only three months old, but still uh, those videos, in those videos, uh, the user have used uh, the Fortran compiler that is of a previous version. So first of all, uh, you need to have three things. First is your Abacus uh, and other is a Visual Studio. And the third one is the Intel One API Toolkit. So for the Abacus, I have selected for the Abacus 2020 version. So you need to go into this uh, website. I will share the link uh, and get into PC and from here, uh, you can go to the uh, your search website and uh, type abacus 2020 so this thing will appear and from here go down and install this thing the second prerequisite is the intel one api toolkit and that is the most important thing as uh, i have told you that uh abacus is only compatible with the i classic compiler but intel is releasing ifx so what you need to do is uh, you do not have to go to the official website of the Intel. Instead, go to this website that is file CR and here search products or uh, write Intel one API developer toolkit. Here uh, menu will appear. It, it will be on the first first of the list on the top of the list. Uh, click it and then uh, drop down here. You will get all the versions of the Intel developer toolkit. So basically developer toolkit is uh, that is a toolkit in which uh, there is both uh, Intel One API based toolkit and Intel One API HPC toolkit. And these toolkit uh, are both of these toolkits are required for linking Fortran with Abacus. Okay, so there are uh, various versions. So what you need to install uh, is dependent on the following. Also, you need to install the Microsoft Visual Studio, but it is not any of it. Uh, there is a specific version that you need to install. And by going on to this link, uh, you will see the compatibility of the Intel One API release with the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio uh, release. So for example, I have downloaded the Microsoft Visual Studio. As you can see that it also showed that it has ICX and IFX Fortran compiler. Here it is also has ICS and IFX. But what we need, we need is the IFORT classic compiler. Here you can see that it has IFORT compiler. Similarly, go down uh, this 2024.1 also have the iFort compiler. So what I have installed, uh, it is uh, all on the on your preference that what you need to install, uh, what uh, you are willing to install. So I have installed this version of the Intel One API toolkit and it also has the iFort compiler. But the thing is that if you are installing this thing, so for the Visual Studio, you need to install this specific version, either this or this specific version of the Visual Studio. So I have opted for this specific version of the Visual Studio. So in order to install this specific version, you need to go to this link. I will share the link again. Uh, go to this uh, next tab. And when you go to this uh, next tab, uh, another page will appear and look out for your uh, required version. Here many versions we need is 17. 4, 2. So 17.4.2 is the, uh, let us see, it is not here. So, okay, so we are on 17.4, we need 17.4.2.
so they are basically 213 uh, okay so that is 17 or uh, 4 8 say so that is 17 4 8 17 4 6 Seventeen four four, and that is the seventeen four two version of the twenty twenty two Microsoft Visual Studio seventeen four two version. So you need to install this from here download link, and afterward, uh, there is a video that will guide you, uh, how to further install this thing. Uh, I will share the link of that YouTube video, and while installing Visual Studio, you need to uh, have one thing, uh, to remember that you only need to install the uh library of the desktop development with c++ i repeat desktop development with c++ you do not need to show all the library just one library is enough for this task so now you have three things uh, one is your intel one api toolkit uh, other is your abacus 2020 and uh, the third one is your visual studio now i will share that uh, what uh, you have to do after the download has been completed so when we go to the uh, abacus, uh, so RAR file will uh, be downloaded. You need to extract those uh, RAR files. And once uh, they are extracted, uh, go to the folders. Uh, then read me file. Uh, here you can read what you need to do to properly install the abacus 2020. Further, if you need guidance, you can uh, get to the YouTube videos and they will guide you properly. Okay, the one need uh, that I want to mention here is that uh, when you are installing the Abacus, uh, Abacus, so you need to go to the first folder. And in this folder, when you go to the setup, yes. Okay, so when you go to the setup uh, here next. Okay, so here you need to install three things. Uh, that is a must. First of all, you need a license and an established product. These two things is, is a must. But if you want to run the API toolkits. So that third thing that is CAA API. This is very much uh, if you have not installed this thing, so you will get the error uh, when you run a command abacus verify user std or exp, you will get the error that product not installed, which means that you need to install this specific thing. Otherwise, it will always show the error the product not installed. Okay, so that is all that I have to say about the abacus and uh, the abacus will get installed. I already have installed, so I cancelled the installation. Uh, it is not a difficult task. So once the abacus is installed, uh, you need to install the uh, one API in HPC toolkits. So you again, you will uh, extract uh, the RAR file and then uh, download the things. Thing I need to mention here is that you do not need to install all the libraries. We are on the one API based toolkit and as you can see that is 2023 version. And that is big only because we install it from the files here. If we had installed it from the Intel official website, we would never be able to get that 2023 version. So you need to uh, download this library, uh, that one, this uh, distributor for GDP, one API threading, uh, threading building blocks and Intel one API math kernel library. Only these thing you can uh, take a screenshot. Only this library is essential to install from the Intel one API based toolkit. Okay, uh, from the HPC toolkit, what you need to install is Wait a second. So you do not need uh, to uninstall, I'm just uninstalling to show you something. Uh, look, I have both the versions of 2025.2 and 2023. And that is because I have this one I have installed from the official website and this from the uh, files here. So in the HPC toolkit, what you need to install is Okay, so in uh, HPC Toolkit 2023 version, you need to install Intel MPI, MPI library for Tron compiler and classic and Intel 1 API DPC++ uh, compilers and Intel C++ compiler classic. So these three libraries you need to install. That's it. So what uh, you have get Abacus 2020 and uh, Visual Studio and afterward you have got the Intel toolkits. 
make sure to remember the order in which you have to install first you need to install and the order is very much to remember first you need to install abacus then visual studio and then a uh, one toolkit if you do any changes in installation order then you will face difficulties so once uh, these things are installed uh, so you need to go to the uh, now you need to uh, set up the environmental variables for that uh, you can care, uh, check out any youtube video but i will show you mine how i did it because now the steps now all the steps are same uh, there's all the steps are same because the only problem was the older version of the Fortran compiler okay go to environmental variables uh, go to path and these two uh, link you need to add to the path and these are the file location the one is the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2020 community with the uh, auxiliary and then build and this one is C program file 86 and 11 API compiler 2023 and then ENV so I will share the link and these uh, you have to uh, add, add path locations at uh, this file location to the path only if you have installed these things on the default location afterward you also need to add those file location in this path as well in the end okay so I will uh, share the default location but still uh, uh, one again uh, once again I would uh, like to tell you that if you have installed it in the default location then you will have the similar file location otherwise it might be changed okay after environmental variable you need to go to your uh, file uh, folders go to local disk c uh, here you will go to simulia in simulia go to commands and copy this ABQ 2020 from here and paste here the reason of pasting here is that uh, if you uh, we need to edit it and we would not be able to edit it, edit this file if it would be inside this command folder so we need to get it out of the uh, command folder and then we need to edit it so uh, we have what we have edited in this uh, notepad we added these two lines these two line was not written previously we have edited this notepad uh, this file of of the abq 2020 uh, okay so one uh, more error that user commit is that uh, they added these two lines after the set local but you need to add these two file location before the set lo local and after the echo of once uh, you change you added this abq 2020 you need to uh, copy it or cut it and again paste it and then uh, it will uh, say that if you need to replace the file because it already exists so uh, click on yes okay gee. so that is the two things the first uh, was the environmental variable and the second was go to simulia and then editing the abq abq 2020 file now you need to go uh, uh, right here abacus okay so when you install abacus uh, you will have all the CE command you are licensing so go to command and go to file location when you go to file location you will have these things uh, so go to command first go to abacus CAE uh, right click go to properties and in the target file you need to add the target file in the target there will there will uh, already be uh, some text written on it you do not need to cut or delete any of that text you just need to enter you just need to add this uh, line and this line is same as uh, that of the uh, this line is the basically the file location uh, of the intel 11 api compiler 2020 and uh, you need to write it in the inverted commas and once uh, you write this intel 64 vs 2022 give a space and then you need to enter and and then again give a space okay and then similar thing you need to copy it and paste it on this target file of in this target file of uh, abacus command 
uh, that is the same thing. Uh, I would also share. I will also uh, copy and share this, uh, and so that you will be able to see it on the description of this YouTube video. Now uh, comes the moment of the truth. Uh, you need to go to the abacus command, and you need to uh, type these three commands in order to verify whether your Fortran compiler has been linked with abacus or not. First of all, you need to write abacus space info equal system. So it will uh, do something like this. It will take some time. Okay, so the, it has started. Okay, if you see here in the compiler, Fortran compiler, Intel Fortran compiler 2021.8. It means that 2021.8 Fortran compiler has been recognized by the Abacus. Now you need to run another command that is uh, Abacus verify user stdn exp. So I will write it. I don't remember it, so I have uh, added it to the notes. You do not need to do any of these things. I am just getting the command from here. Yes, yeah, so that is the command. So this will show the uh, whether uh, the Fortran will run for the explicit simulation or not. When you hit enter, it will do some it will take some time okay so if uh, the fortran compiler has successfully been linked with it because it will show the result pass otherwise it will show errors like single precision error. See, it is showing the pass. It means that Fortran compiler had successfully been linked with the Abacus. Now you are able to uh, run the subroutines on Abacus. So that is a simple uh, thing. The only problem uh, was that uh, since the Fortran compiler uh, was not compatible with the latest uh, uh, with the Abacus, so we need a older version of the Fortran and to get that uh, we need to go to the files here and install the developer tool toolkit from this of all these steps are similar you if you may want uh, you can uh, do the steps by looking at the other videos but I have shown you all the steps and yeah that's it and it, it took me two months to troubleshoot this problem and I don't want any of you guys to face a similar problem that I face. So that's why I make this YouTube video. Hopefully I will be uh, adding some more YouTube videos regarding simulations and other uh, engineering related tasks. So that's all for now. Thank you guys.